This is Cadence. She's a golden retriever. She just turned three on January 21st. She has several titles, several jobs that she does. She's the peer support therapy dog for the Anaheim Police Department. She's the peer support dog and therapy dog for the Orange County Human Trafficking Task Force, which means that she goes in and she works with the human trafficking girls, all the young victims of that. Uh, we're also a chaplain team for the Canines for Christ. And then as well, we're with the crisis uh, intervention team for the county. Starting with the Anaheim Police Department with the peer support, you can see her badge down here. Uh, we are part of the peer support team. If they're uh, part of our thing is to go to briefings and we, in fact, when we're pretty sure we're going to go to the jail and there's some people that want to see her over there that uh, will go into the briefings uh, in various places throughout the police department where she is uh, needed. Or like in briefings, the guys just like something to love. We also go to the Family Justice Center where we work with uh, the detectives over there who have some horrific cases. So she's uh, part of that. She'll go over there and give them therapy. Uh, we've been called in for various functions that happen, like if there was a ho ho double homeless. Okay, it's come down. <laughs> prefers to be the highlight here and forget mom. <laughs> I Are am. you the center of attention? <laughs> I know that I am just her chauffeur. I've learned my place in this <laughs> world. <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, we like with all homicides, uh, she'll go in with, and with the police officers when they are uh, there's under a crisis thing. She seems to zero in right in on the person. Uh, that's our main thing with the police department. Whenever we're needed, we're, we're called into various, uh, whether it be a death someplace, homicide, suicide, whatever, wherever she's needed, we'll, we'll get a phone call, as well as making regular visits at the police department. Our human trafficking, every Tuesday, that's where we are, is with the human trafficking girls at the court, the juvenile court in Orange. Uh, that, some of those girls, they're so young, 13, 14 years old, and they just need someone to love on. She makes their days happy. And she'll bring smiles to girls that their world is so dark. And these are some of the girls, maybe, that they'll come from Juvenile Hall, Orangewood, various places around foster homes. Uh, just depends if they've just recently been picked up. Uh, so it's just on the situation is whatever it is. So uh, she also tends to the judges. And what's oh, kind of funny, the judges from other courtrooms will actually come in and want to play with Cadence because they need some downtime. Because that whole juvenile court has some pretty rough cases that they hear, besides our young girls from human trafficking uh, that are, and our human trafficking girls are local girls. These are not from some foreign country. They are local girls within our whole, whole neighborhoods, which shocks so many people. But uh, she also works with the judges and the social workers and the attorneys that it's really interesting because she picks up on those that just really, oh my gosh, I'm really stressed out. Um, and there was a suicide, one of our victims suicide. And when we had the crisis intervention there, she immediately zeroed in on the judge and went straight to the judge and comforted her. It was really interesting to watch that one. With the Canines for Christ, we're called as chaplains. If there's a situation where somebody is needing a, more of a religious thing because um, God or whatever the particular situation is, we will go and be the comfort dog there. Or, uh, we've had many situations on that. The orange shooting, the big one that was just a year ago, she was called in by Canines for Christ to, to go to that one. Okay. And then with the Waymakers uh, as a crisis support dog, if there's an incident, mass shooting or a mass incident in Orange County, Cadence will be called in as the peer support dog and the therapy dog for that. So. She's got a busy, busy life. Uh, we just kind of go from place to place wherever we need it. And yeah. Some days we don't know if we're going to be called out, uh, but we know that Tuesdays we will be at court with human trafficking folks. That's our, our big thing. Uh, a typical day would be we'd start out with our breakfast usually about 6.30, and then after a couple of hours of what we will do is go for, if it's a working day, 
we'll usually go for about a half a half mile walk. Uh, so not to burn up too much energy. If it's a day that we're not going to work, at least we don't think, we'll probably go for a two mile walk. We have our favorite places that we like to go to. But uh, if it's a working day, then she'll get dressed and like brush her out and then we take her to wherever she needs. And she has so many outfits, typical girl, so many different outfits. We have to decide which outfit we're going to, we need to wear for the day. And then she'll go do her work and then she comes home and definitely takes a nap. In fact, she's usually asleep in the car on the way home. It is interesting with the, um, the stress that the dogs feel the emotions that people put out on uh, the suicide event that we went to. She was exhausted that, that evening. She was like, that's it, I'm, I'm finished. But uh, in the evening we'll, we'll play ball. She's got her uh, five different balls and we throw those all over the house. And the cats sit and look at her like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> so it's always fun to watch the camaraderie between, between the two cats. And definite favorite part is going in like to the courtroom or to the briefings and just going around to the room deciding who should I go see and who I would like in the courtroom I'll just drop the leash and let her go to whoever that she feels is putting out the most stress that whole uh, uh, laughing at the pose here uh, <laughs> that whatever whoever she senses needs the most love. So that's her favorite part, is picking and choosing who am I going to go see today. She has her favorites uh, in the courtroom and at the police department. Uh, but her, she loves giving the love to people and sitting beside them. But I think she also loves all the attention that she gets. That, that, that's a I could imagine. That, yeah, yeah, that uh, she'll just sit there and smile and you can just pet me all you want. And in the meanwhile, they're getting a, a whole relief out of it at the same time. Oh yeah, at home we're just, uh, we're a dog. We're a plain and simple dog and we wear silly things. But the minute this vest goes on, or she, I'll take it out usually that morning and think, oh, okay, something's gonna happen here. But the minute this vest goes on, like when we're outside here, okay, I understand, I need to, I'm not working, I'm not playing now. She will play in her own way, but she will not be rambunctious like she is around the house. That makes she, sense. She knows when, it, when her vest goes on. That is a very interesting question, uh, and I'd love to answer that. It actually started when I had back for the German Shepherd. Uh, all I wanted was a German Shepherd, and that's all I asked God for, was a German Shepherd that loved my cats. Well, within a month I had a German Shepherd, the most wonderful dog in the world. And everybody comes saying, that dog is so great that uh, you can't just you know, let it be a pet. It needs to be a therapy dog because he was very calm and very soothing. So I got Baxter all uh, trained and a certified dog, and he became the first court dog that, that ever was. They, they came to, the police department came to me because I'd been working around there for like 20 years. So they, they knew who I was, but uh, I, it was an interesting thing. Baxter was an amazing dog. He still, people will come up to me, I'm so sorry about Baxter, about the court. But it, the thing that I have to give glory to God on the, when Baxter died, I had to put him down November of 2019. Tom Tackett, a patriotic service dog who I've been friends with for a long time and he helped train Baxter, he kept saying, I have the perfect dog for you, I have the perfect dog. And I was too heartbroken to even go down there. But finally I went down uh, to his place, took one look at this face. <laughs> that was history. And he knew that her personality was there for a service dog. And we train, we, I go down there three times a week and train with her and train with her. And finally, January 21st, a year ago, uh, he certified her as a therapy dog. And, and I really, uh, right before that, it was my Christmas present I got to bring her home. And, uh, I have to give all credit, though, to Tom, Tack, Tom and Terry Tackett. They are my heroes. That uh, what they do for the service dogs and just to be around those people it just absolutely amazed me. But uh, they were the ones that gave me cadence and could see her potential. And I am forever grateful to Patreon Service. Uh, she started out on the water recipe and then we switched her over to the classic. Uh, and she really loves the classic and her weight has really maintained itself 
uh, on the classic and her coat lo looks really good she's got a lot of energy on the classic so we've just stuck with it you know it's worked out perfect so there it will stay through my work with the cadence that's it with the canine detail we've for years sold bruno dogs uh, a little dog with a vest on it that was a uh, tribute actually to one of our dogs that was shot in the line of duty and when I got Cadence I thought well why not with Cadence and there's another company that I work with through Friends of Anna and Face Cadence uh, Aurora that uh, sells these and I thought oh this looks so much like her and so I saved these and a friend of mine made the little collars for them uh, to go through different colors to, and I bring these into the human trafficking girls or like if I'm with a child and I just know it needs a little extra love and uh, a couple of weeks ago we had a couple of girls that just you know were hurting so and uh, one girl mom died so I would bring one of these dogs and just give it to them uh, it's just kind of a little something snuggly and, and yeah. cuddly that um, and then at the same yes I know uh, the other thing that patriotic service dogs because they gave her to me uh, we have little stickers here that I give to these usually in the courtroom I'll give these stickers to the girls or a lot of the police officers have these stickers either that or the cards that patriotic service dogs so they they get one of these if, if they don't get a dog so uh, but it's usually the young girls and the, the victims young children yeah that uh, we give this little keepsake here She's just a, a lot of fun. She's got a heart of gold. It amazes me. Uh, I, here I had a 12-year-old German Shepherd and a two-year-old Golden Retriever. I mean, like, oh my gosh. Well, what, a, what a difference that I had to adjust to. But uh, each breed has their own special thing. And Cadence, she, she is made for this job. She absolutely, and lot, Golden Retrievers are good for these kind of things. But it's still, I think for a therapy dog, it takes a certain something a sense that they have, they know when to play, they know when to uh, settle down, they know when to go in to love up with, they know that person. It's really fascinating. But she, she's only been doing this a year, and I think by the time she's really got this under her belt, under her vest, uh, that in the next couple of years she's going to really be a rock star. And I look forward to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun training her and just watching her grow.